chapter for the Kelly family. Actually, it's a lot of chapters. It's a new book written by Jim and Jill Kelly's eldest daughter, 20-year-old Erin. After the death of her brother and her father's battle with cancer and a few other family issues in between, she figured maybe she could help some other people. And I just started journaling and writing down my prayers in my heart. And one thing led to the other. And I was like, Mom, we have to share this with people. A young life that had already been through a lot. She'd lost her eight-year-old brother, Hunter, to crab -A disease. And then her superstar father was diagnosed with oral cancer. I was only 19 when all of this happened and really had to grow up fast. The book may be called Kelly Tough, but Aaron says it's not so much really about being tough. It's a love story. It's a story about a father and daughter, the love between a father and a daughter, and really the love between my Heavenly Father and me, and how I really had to look to the strength of God as I watched my earthly father suffer. It is also the story of a little boy who, if you listen to the family, was the real hero here. Due to his genetic disease, Hunter could never walk or talk or do anything on his own, but how did you communicate with him? How did you relate with him since he couldn't speak? We were able to just communicate with him in a way that really only his family could. And he would blink three times for I love you. And he was fully there. When Hunter became ill, God came into the Kelly household. He may have been there all along, but now he was sitting at the head of the table, especially for Aaron's mother, Jill. She was running after God because she wanted heaven, and she knew that Hunter was going to be there. Kelly Tuff is a love story. It's a religious story, and it is frank on a number of issues. My parents weren't married when I was born, and my grandparents weren't married when my mom was born, and so I had that history in my family. When she turned 13, Erin made a big decision. There will be no sex for her until she married. Because that's something that I chose for myself, that I wanted to honor God in this way. There was also the day when Jim Kelly sat down and told his daughter about his early days in Buffalo, the Super Bowls, the parties, and the women. What was your reaction to that? Knowing that my dad wasn't faithful to her was one of the hardest moments of my life, I would say. But the fact that my dad told me and that he was honest with me and that he apologized to me, his oldest daughter, is huge. Did you forgive him? Absolutely. She's 20 now, will be a college junior in the fall. She loves sports, likes to hunt. She has a boyfriend, and she has her dad. Because I can't believe that a 19-year-old wrote that book. And, and when you read which you already have, uh, it's amazing. I'm so proud. He's a changed man. And for the better. For the better, absolutely for the better. And I've seen a side of him that I've never seen before, but it's a side that I love, and I just look at him with admiration and pride that that's my dad. Yes, he is pretty proud. Jim himself, by the way, doing well. He is cancer-free right now. He continues his regular checkups. He's been doing a lot of speaking and traveling for the Hunter's Hope Foundation, and he is still very involved with the Buffalo Bills. Joanna?